Hey everyone, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and welcome to Science Sunday. So my dad's dad's, thanks Poppy, sent us a video of this guy who got some copper wire, a battery, and a few magnets and put them all together and this happened. And we were all like, what? Wow, cool. So we decided to make one of our own. So today we'll be showing you how to make your own and why it happens. one more time before we go into detail. So first I'm going to show you how to build one. So I'm going to go over the materials that you need. You are going to need some 18 gauge raw copper wire, very important that it's raw, four half inch disc magnets, a half inch rod of some sort, and a triple A battery. So the first step is the hardest and also the most time consuming. You need to wrap the 18 gauge wire around your half inch rod and you have to make sure that it's really tight around the rod and there's no kinks. If there are kinks then the battery is going to get stuck and it's not going to go. So take your sweet little time and make sure everything is pretty perfect before you start to do it. So step two is to make two stacks of two of your disc magnets. And you should know by now that magnets have a north and south pole. And north and north poles and south and south poles repel. And north and south poles attract to each other. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your magnets and make sure they repel and they don't attract. And don't smash these together because they could end up flipping over and pinching you. And if you do it too violently, then they there could be blood. And even if you do it not very violently, it's gonna pinch you and it's gonna hurt. It, I just recommend avoiding that in general. So then you take your battery and you put on the magnets the same way so they are repelling from each other onto the battery. And then you can just and then make sure they're aligned and they're not all wacky and stuff. Oop. So once you've got your magnets on your battery and they're repelling each other, you should be able to gently, so you don't knock the magnets off of this, put your magnet train into the coil and it should slide right along. So another thing you might notice is if you push it in, it just comes right out the, the opposite way you want it to go. And that's a hint on how this thing works. So now let's talk a little bit about why and how this thing works. So there's a couple theories on the internet and none of them were super simple and they were different. So I decided to go all Mythbusters and do some experiments to prove which one is right and which one is wrong. So the first experiment we did is if you take a coil of your copper wire and you make an electric current throw through it, go through it, then it makes a magnetic field and it creates an electromagnet and it behaves like a magnet. So we're going to do an experiment with our electromagnet. So here's our electromagnet. We used a pretty strong battery so we have some pretty strong results is what we're doing. So we made just a small coil and one end we taped to the battery and the other end we just left hanging and the tape side is on the minus side of the battery and the hanging end is on the plus side of the battery. So what you're going to do is you're going to have put is you're going to connect that side and that sends an electric current flowing through our coil and if we did this right it should make an electromagnet. So let's start with having our taped side towards the battery and it should repel, or the magnet, excuse me. Let's just start with putting our tape side toward the magnet and it should repel. And warning, this does get hot, so don't be scared of it. It's not gonna like burn you, but don't just hold it there forever because it's gonna get pretty hot and I don't want to burn anyone. So, yeah. And it's repelling. So let's try it with the other side facing towards the magnet and let's see what happens. And it gets stuck inside the coil. Whoa, it just did a spinny thing. I didn't expect it to do a spinny thing. That was cool. I wonder why it does that spinny thing now. Now we're gonna have to do more science. 
So now that we confirmed that you can make an electromagnet by sending a electric current through a coil, we can start thinking about our other coil and our battery with the two magnets on it and how the electromagnet will be created and how everything starts interacting with it, each other and making our little train. So if you think about what's happening is you have the magnet on this end and the magnet on this end, but there's also a third magnet, which is an electromagnet, created in between these two magnets. So we have three magnets, the mag like I said, the magnet on this end, the magnet on this one, and the third electromagnet. So if you think about the poles of the magnet, the electromagnet has poles too. So what you need to pull it along, and it's also the reason why we had to have them both repel on the battery, is because the electron magnet needs to attract the back end so it pulls it this way and push the front end so it pushes it this way. And when this, when our battery moves, it the electron magnet moves in between it too. So it so it's pushing it this way and it and it's pulling it this way and it's going this way and the electron magnet's moving too. So it goes all the way out until the front magnet pops out the front and it disturbs the circuit so there is no circuit there's no electromagnet anymore so it stops moving. So that's why if you push it in the wrong way it just pushes it right back out because the polarities are reversed so it's pushing it this way so it pops right back out but all you have to do is turn it over and stick it right back in and it'll shoot through. So now that you know how it works it's so much cooler. So another super simple but super cool science experiment that you can do at home. It's really amazing and I've seen people who make loops, coils. So you stick it in and it just goes around and around and around and probably does that until you either break the coil so it can pop out or the battery dies. So those are pretty cool. I might make one one of those eventually, but we don't as you can see, we don't have enough wire to make one right now. So that would be pretty cool to make in the future though. And it's really fascinating because it deals with the interactions between electric fields and magnetic fields. And it's a really fascinating thing and most likely we'll be having more science videos in the future with it in it. But for now all you have to remember is it's not two, it's not four it is three magnets and it's the electromagnets and the magnets on this end and all you have to know is that it is just the positive end and the negative end pulling the train along and it is a super cool trick you can probably amaze your friends with it and you can dare them to put it in the wrong way and they'll get it wrong and it'll be pretty fun to explain to them everything and I'm sure you'll have a great time with it so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow it's time to press the subscribe button, the subscribe button, the subscribe button, the subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.